Then we have, of course, our old friend Midge, and Midge's best mate, and sort of stepbrother come cousin, <laughs> Hector, who's a Springer Cocker Cross, a Sprocker. And being a Spaniel, he loves mud and mess just as much as Midge does. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> However, we get there, and he's a good boy. He's very, very well intentioned, <laughs> and he does all right. We're going to head deeper into the woods. See if we can find somewhere for them to tie the swim. Well, it's turned out to be quite a muddy day <laughs> for a walk, Midge. Come on, Midgey. Here. <laughs> These are perfect conditions for an English Springer Spaniel and a Sprocker. I'm just waiting to fall over in the mud. <laughs> Now, the jewel at the end of our little mudlarking walk is this pond, which is a great place to throw sticks for spaniels. Okay. Good boy! <laughs> it's stolen at the very last moment and thank you very much, Midge. <laughs> yes, that was really appreciated. Hector will go in and get the sticks, but if Midge is here getting them for him, he won't. Too sensible. That's not the sensible way to carry a long stick, really. <laughs> so Hector had a bit of a traumatic experience as a young puppy with water. He sort of ran off the edge of a river, not realising there was water below. And it's taken quite a long time to build up his confidence with water again now. So he's not long turned nine months old. And we can just about sometimes get him in. But if Midge goes in, Hector definitely won't. He'll just collect the stick from the sidelines wherever it's warm and dry. And this one is going utterly berserk because he wants to be the one fetching the stick. Leave it. Leave it, Midge. Leave it. Go on, Midge. That was a good little launch. Good point, mate. Fetch it on. He hands it over to the shore party <laughs> for, for onward transmission. Ready whenever you like. Yeah. What we need to do is have him back there so he runs. Nice retrieve, Hector. Come on, good lad. Good boy. Come on then. Yay! Well done, son. Yeah. 
Oh. So having caused all that disruption down at the pond, we thought we'd better head away now so that others can uh, sit and enjoy their sandwiches or whatever they're doing down there without too much mud flying around. And we'll go and explore another part of the woods. <laughs>